Morning boys and girls, it's Monday, it's an, the start of another school week, only we're still doing school but we're home. And every day this week, starting the day, we have an assembly out and about every day. Today we're going to be uh, going to Belfast, do you know the big yellow grains called Harlan and Wolf, Harry and Wilbert, Samson and Goliath? Yes, we're going to see them. Let's sing this city song, this lovely song. Do you know what it's called? Sing along. Light, light of the world. See the big yellow cranes and learn something about Harland and Wolf. Here we go. Boys and girls, today we're in Belfast, and no matter where you're travelling in, Bel as you're coming into Belfast from many parts of the country, you'll see two big yellow metal cranes, and this is known as Harland and Wolf, or nicknamed um, Samson and Goliath, two biblical characters, and these are cranes for lifting ships or for uh, shipbuilding and one of them was built in 1969, that was Goliath, and then the other one, five years later, was called, is known as Samson, and it was built in 1974. A combined capacity, they can lift away over a thousand tons together. Very, very strong cranes, and it's one of the most famous shipyards in the world. One of the uh, ships that we know of, there are many, many ships that was built here, more so in the earlier days. One of them, anyone know what it's called? It's famous throughout the world for a film, 1912, and it's the Titanic. It's a famous ship, and it's famous for, believe it or not, sinking. But this is where it first sailed. This is where the Titanic was built in 1912 in April, and it, it made us made maiden voyage across the Atlantic to America to New York and one of the, the captain, I think it was a captain, and he said these words, Not he was so confident with the ship, the Titanic, he said these words, not even God himself 
could sink this ship. And his words come back to eat him because that ship did sink because they were told to control the speed, but they ignored the warning and they made it go even faster and it hit an iceberg and the, the, it pierced the side of it. And as a result, the Titanic sank. They never heeded the warning. And God does give us many warnings how we must listen. And that's why the Bible is so important. We read the warning from God, how it's important to, to give our lives to the Lord Jesus and follow him and trust in the Lord and do good. But whenever I think of the, of, of, there's another man, as I think of the Titanic, he was a minister called the Reverend Harper. And he was one of those people, his family got into a lifeboat and they were able to be saved. But he gave his life jacket to someone else and he gave his life jacket so someone else could be saved on the lifeboat. And he, as a result, then drowned. He gave his life that others could be saved. And he kept witnessing to people. He kept telling people all about the Lord Jesus. And there was a man, he, as he was, Harper was swimming in the water, the ship was now gone, freezing cold. He said to this man, are you saved? And the man says, no, I'm not, I'm not. And Harper's busy swimming in the water. And he got back to this man and he says, man, are you saved yet? And he goes, no, I'm not. And many years later, that man, he said, no, I'm not. He was standing in a meeting and he stood up and he said, I'm here to tell you about how I give my life to Jesus and I am a Christian. And he says, I was John Harper's last convert. John Harper swimming in the water really convicted that man. And as he swam in the water, he, he trusted in the Lord and asked the Lord to forgive him and to save him. And he kept living for God. But he never got to tell John Harper because John Harper was lost in the water. But as I think of Harland and Wolf, or, or Samson and Goliath, building ships would have sailed to many parts of the world. Really, really strong, big, iconic symbols in the city of Belfast. Known throughout the world, they're famous. Goliath. Is, was a giant, a big, strong giant in the Bible. And he is famous for being a giant, but he was not the champion. He might have been the giant, but he never won the battle because David, the wee boy, the wee shepherd boy, he conquered the giant. He brought the giant down because God helped little David and God was on his side. So boys and girls, there are many giants, many big giants, big giant problems, uh, challenges, difficulties, and you can overcome any of them if you will ask God to help you to do that. The other one was called Samson. Samson was a, was a strong man, but he had supernatural strength given by God. And the enemy wanted to conquer Samson and couldn't do it. There was a woman he was with called Delilah, and she worked out what her strength was. And because he loved her, he was with her, he told her a secret. And he said, the secret is my hair. Don't cut my hair. If you do, I lose my strength. And she told the enemy, cut his hair. So Samson fell into a deep sleep and the enemy came and cut his hair and he bound him. And there's nothing Samson could do. And they took Samson away and they gushed out his eyes. And boys and girls, they put him in prison. And then they brought him out before all the people. But in the meantime, his hair had grown back. Yes, read this in the Bible and Samuel or judges, sorry, and boys and girls, Sam, here's Samson, a man who once loved God, a judge amongst the people, and he's standing between two pillars with all the enemy. And he asked God for strength, and he was able to push the pillars, and the building came crushing down uh, upon the enemy. And the Bible says that in, uh, Samson, in his death, he slew more uh, than during his lifetime. So that's why these two cranes are named after Goliath and Samson, because they were two giants of physical strength in the Bible. And these two giants are known throughout the world for their physical strength combined, how they can lift such heavy weights of steel, of ships. And these are the very waters. The water keeps flowing, the water keeps moving, the world keeps going on. And these are the very waters that the Titanic would have first set in before it sailed across the Liverpool, across to England, then it made its way out into the Atlantic Ocean, crossing over, hoping to get to um, America, but it never made the journey. And remember the words of that captain when he said, not even God himself could sink this ship. Little did he realize he was speaking against God and that ship did sink. And that's why we should be very careful about making fun of God or taking God's name in vain because the Bible says we should not take the name of the Lord 
God in vain. We should always have reverence for God. That's why the Bible teaches us to fear God. That doesn't mean to be afraid of God. That means to be afraid of offending God by taking God's name in vain or mocking God or making fun of God. This man was mocking God by saying, not even God can sink this ship. For God to sink that ship was nothing. He would just put his finger upon it. But in their foolishness, they were going too fast, dangerously. Even though they were warned, they did not heed the warning to slow down, to avoid the iceberg. And they crashed, they hit the iceberg, and it was too late. The ship was injured, it was wounded, it was cut, it was a hole. And eventually, deep into the freezing cold, ice cold waters, the Titanic made its last journey deep into the ocean bed. So remember, boys and girls, the warnings of history, the lessons we can learn from them, never to mock God, never to make fun of God. And even many famous films today, many famous films are made after Bible history or Bible characters. Even these, when they were built in 1969 and 74, were because of their height, their structure and their strength. They were named after two Bible characters called Goliath and Samson. That's why I love the Bible. And it's good to read the Bible, to know these wonderful stories. And most of all, they will teach you about God and how God loved us so much. He sent the Lord Jesus, his only begotten son, to this world for you and for me, that our sins can be forgiven and we can be with God forever and ever one day in heaven. So that was a big crane, Harland and Wolf in Belfast, the shipbuilders. Let's sing the wee song of God is for us, who can be against us? muscle of them and you think about them being so big and so strong yet our God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my God cannot do enjoy your day at home doing your schoolwork see you tomorrow